Hello, everybody. Welcome to ENA. We got time. I'm Alex. I'm here with a special guest, former NFL tight end for the New York Giants. We have Travis Beckham, everybody. What's going on, bro? What's happening? What's happening? Uh, once again, I want to thank you for um, letting me interview you. So let's just get right into it. Over the course of your career, could you tell me what was your favorite catch? Or most My favorite catch? catch? Yeah, or most memorable uh, catch. You know what? I, I think that uh, one of my most memorable catches was uh, actually in high school when um, okay. I, I played uh, – I played – I randomly played tight end. So I probably played tight end uh, a handful of times in high school. I was more of – I played <clears throat> a linebacker, so I was always a defensive guy and uh, okay. We wore. We wore. Um, this was the game to. I think this was a, one, maybe a semi to get to the semifinals. Uh, the playoff game, tough, super, super good team that we played, and uh, they coaches basically told me to line up that tight end and then run down the field and catch the ball, and uh, that put us in the position. It was like a forty yard catch. And that put us in the position to uh, go on to win that game uh, by a point, actually. And uh, I would probably say that was one of – it was kind of one of those situations where you had to be there uh, yeah. as far as the, the feeling that you got from that catch and just know that you put your team in a, uh, in a chance to kick a field goal and win the game was, was probably one of, one of my best uh, feelings as far as catching the ball. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's fast forward a little bit to um, when you got drafted. How did you feel when you got drafted, and do you remember where you were when you got drafted? Uh, yeah, I I uh, I remember when I got drafted. I was uh, so I was on the fence um, as far as whether I was going to be a uh, second round draft pick or a third round draft pick, and okay. the New York Giants interviewed me and. Uh, just basically said that they had extremely high interest in me uh, and be prepared because um, they had two picks uh, in the one pick in the second round and then two picks in the third round. Okay. And uh, I was actually at one of my family's restaurants uh, for the second round, and that was one day. And then the next day was the third round. They did the first round and second round on the first day, and then they did the third round on the second day. And I went back to the same place. Um, it was with my uh, intermediate family and um, just uh, watching the draft and then getting the phone call uh, was, uh, man, was, was, was life-changing. And you work your whole life to get to a certain point. Uh, and once you finally realize it's happening, uh, it's, it's definitely a feeling that, that, that can't be – uh, that doesn't happen every day. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, next, you worked with probably um, one of my favorite groups of receivers um, for the Giants. Um, could you tell me, what receiver did you learn the most from on the team? Uh, you know, I, I probably learned a lot from uh, from Steve Smith. Okay. And uh, – it was just he might not have gotten all the credit that he deserved, uh, but one, uh, he was an amazing route runner, extremely crisp in and out of his cuts, and was able to change direction, uh, I mean, at, at top speed. And there's not a lot of guys that can do that. And there just be times where I'd sit there and watch him and, and be in awe at some of the breaks and some of the cuts that he did. Um, so I would probably say that, that Steve Smith uh, was one of those guys that, that I definitely grasped a lot from. Okay. Uh, on to the other side of the ball. Being as though you did play tight end um, and they throw different coverages at you depending on where you line up, what was the hardest DB slash linebacker you had to go against? Uh... I would probably uh, no. I mean, Dar Darrell Revis. Uh, 
Oh, that's a good one. He, 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 he was pretty tough uh, outside, especially when I would line up out wide, but, but he held a lot. Uh, he got away with it. <laughs> yeah, um, but then coming back to the inside, um, I, I would probably say um, – Probably say probably say Patrick Willis. Okay, that's a good. I'll probably another, say Patrick Willis. That's a good one. Okay, okay. Um, now you were on the 2011 Giants Super Bowl winning team. How did it feel whenever you were able to just hold up that trophy? Like, could you describe how that felt? Yeah, it it um uh, it was definitely something that. I mean, it's one thing to um, get the opportunity to play in the NFL uh, as your dream, and then to have the opportunity to play in the Super Bowl and then uh, actually win the Super Bowl is 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 an amazing feeling. And uh, mine wasn't probably as amazing as a lot of the other guys due to the fact that I tore my ACL in the Super Bowl, but uh, I got a ring out of it, and that's something that, uh, I will forever hold just knowing the fact that uh, I'm a Super Bowl champion uh, and that nobody can take that. That's great. That's great. Last question. What was your all-time favorite moment or memory in your NFL career, if you had one? If you could pick um, I, w- I, w- I would probably say uh, – I mean, just kind of running out, running out of the tunnel in Indianapolis uh, at the Super Bowl, and uh, to just really realize that that this is it. I mean, you you, you get down there and you practice all week and uh, go to all the, the events uh, during the Super Bowl week, and uh, to finally get on the field and to like, man, this is really it. Um, it's definitely something that. Uh, can't be really like exchanged for anything, and uh, I would probably say that was one of uh, my most memorable um, things as far as what happened to me during and throughout my career. Nice man, nice man. Well, I appreciate your time. I thank you once again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Travis Beckham, former NFL and Super Bowl winning player. Thank you for your time, man. This is Ian A. And well, thanks again, Travis. Appreciate you, bro. No problem. All right.